Hello, everybody, from the tutorial test. Uh, well, it's not a test world, a tutorial world. What am I even saying? Welcome to back. This is what we're building today. It is a medieval water tank. It's a little weird looking, but I think it's going to be really cool. And man, it helps the skyline so much. I think it's, I think it's pretty awesome. So if you want to see it block for block, I'm going to show you how to build that little uh, globe sphere up there. And we're going to, uh, we're going to build it starting right now. All right, then let's do this. Welcome to building something that I really don't know how to build. First thing we're gonna do is we are gonna build up some giant, giant legs. And uh, you know, there, there's some options here whenever you're getting started on how big you want this to be. I think I would like this to be, now I've marked out a nine by nine. The actual circle of this is gonna be 11 by 11, but I want the circle to be bigger than the legs, okay? And that, that's sort of my vision. Uh, I wanna say, uh, I need to tell you how many blocks is this is don't I ready here we go ready one two three four five five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen okay that's good eighteen eighteen tall or whatever truly it does not matter at all so we're just gonna go up a little ways right go up a little ways and then we're probably gonna end up connecting these legs uh something like this and this is all subject to change so i'm coming one in off the nine the nine by nine little box here i had so that way the the actual globe the actual sphere is going to be two blocks on each side wider than the base i think that's going to be a good look I want to say I googled medieval water towers for images just to see because I, I I don't know I'm not a water engineer or an aqua engineer or an aqua ear. <laughs> I don't even know what you call that. Uh, but but uh, regardless of, of that, uh, they, they were not like this. This is a very modern sort of looking design compared to what I found. Most of them were just big towers that you couldn't even really truly tell were water towers to be, to be totally honest. So what are we going to build this thing out of? Well, you know, we could build it out of glass. We could build it out of glass, honestly. But I would like to build it out of something that is a little bit more uh, harder, a little bit more harder. <laughs> A little harder so let's grab some some white terracotta and then we're going to reinforce it okay so we're going to go find the middle and then we go up one from the middle okay so there we go we have our one starter block now to, to get a sphere you got to go five out uh i missed i missed there five out and five out you're gonna make a cross oh, come on fix really five out like that and then you're we're gonna go uh you know like this just just, just look at the picture and, and do this okay do you see what i'm saying it's gonna be three on the side that that's the beginning of your sphere now you're gonna uh, go out one and you're gonna do go all the way around the edges uh, like this, okay? Uh, you you can find, if you want to follow a circle generator, you can find plots, P-L-O-T-Z dot uh, co, C-O dot U-K. That's, the, that's the, the website that I usually find, okay? Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come out one and stop like that. Now we're going to do this exact same pattern on, the, on all sides. So we're going to go five out and then up one like this. That's one, two, three, four. And then up one like this. Oh, no, I actually leave that there. Sorry, I lied. Two, three, four, five. Come down and over. Two, three, four, five. Okay, do that on all four sides. After you get something that looks kind of like this, we're gonna come in one from the top. Uh, so like that, and then do the exact same thing. So we go five, and then oh, five, and then come in one like that. Five, in one, over one. Five, in one, over one, just like so, okay, so that's the beginning of this. Now, I think what we want to do is I think we want to uh, first fill in these holes. So do something like this. You can, I mean, you can leave that block there Co completely. Honestly, you'll never see it. Uh, and, and then I, then there's there's something that's going to be left sort of to each of us individually. What do you want the, 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 do you want it all to be white? Which is a possibility. I think I want something that's a little bit more interesting. Wow, I'm misplacing blocks like crazy. That's three misplaced blocks to get one. Okay, so there we go. We got all of that done and we have all of this set up so what i think we're going to do i think we're going to bring in a stone why am i caps lock stone brick block and like this and i think what we're going to do is we're going to come out one like this oh we have these we have these beautiful overlays that's going to kind of mess up my thing so we're going to go like this and like this coming down just like that that's going to look like maybe it has a little bit of reinforcement uh, you know so like as if maybe the, the terracotta itself would would need some sort of like bulky stone or you could use wood or you could use you know 
brown terracotta. I mean, there's lots of options that you can pick. Pick a pick a block that you really like to uh, to sort of make this little water tower work. And then what I want to do is I actually want to use some glass, not a lot, but some glass in here um, to, to show that there's water inside. And now the problem is it's going to be very, very dark on the inside. So to do that, we're going to have to add some lighting, of course. So let's uh, fill out this last one, just something like this. We'll come all the way around here. And also, you know, what would be nice is if you lived here, if they had one of these water towers, then they, maybe these people would want to be able to look up and see how much water is saved in their tower uh, reserves. Maybe something like that. Okay, so then after you get all that done, I'm going to leave this bottom, I think, like this, because I have. there's going to be a pipe that's going to go down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and we're going to grab some glowstone uh, or, you know, you could use jack-o'-lanterns or whatever. So glowstone, we're just going to light right along the bottom here, just like that. And then after that's done, in fact, actually, I think we'll do up here as well, because I think that I'll end up having glass up on the top. After that is done, then we're gonna put glass in. Let's use regular old glass here. If you wanna use blue glass or light blue glass, that might even be better, honestly, because it might it might sh help show that there's water, make the water a little extra blue. Because uh, right, I'll be at the end, generally I'll be running shaders and, and my shaders make water uh, pretty clear and not, not that see-through, okay? So then we're gonna grab water and we're just gonna fill it all up like this. Just hit the corners and then hit the corners every third one basically should fill this whole thing up i think once you get all that done yep okay then we're just going to keep on going next thing i want to do is i want to bring up some supports and i think what i want to do maybe is bring this down here so what we're going to do is we're going to shave off a little bit of this we're going to go one two three and take this down one two three okay so from the top of it uh we're gonna go down because i want to make this a little bit of a uh, i don't want to say triangle that's probably the wrong word but then we'll connect this together like that and then that way the supports will come up even 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 more which is gonna be a really good thing already it, it juts out too i would like it to seem like it's jutting out even a little bit more like it's a ball on top of a, a, a rod right something like that so let's go up here and we'll just connect it i think you know what i think that's not connected there we go so there's something like that. i guess start from the top okay and something like that Oh yeah, this is gonna be a cool. I, I can tell this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a cool build. This is gonna be totally different. If you're like, hey, fix. Wow, you sure are showing how to build a lot of houses in this series. How about something else? Okay, here you go. Here's something else. It's a, a big dumb water tower. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Maybe people, maybe people like it. Okay. So then the next thing is what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a a cross support right here and a cross support right here. I think this will be quite nice. And oh. And then we're gonna have to add a little bit of uh, structural supports here. So let's grab some fencing, and uh, you can do anything: spruce, oak. Maybe uh, maybe oak would be what would be nice, but we'll stick with spruce for right now. Let's just go all along here. That's very good. Very good. Okay, cool. Up here, I think what we'll do is we'll just add some fence. Again, make this look like it's really, really supporting some some serious weight because it is. I mean, water's heavy, man. Uh, so so we'll just go up like that on all eight sides of these supports. Now we want to get, have a way to get water down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be pulling down stone brick from this. We're going to make a little right in the dead center of this. We're going to make a little cross. So uh, we'll come up all the way here. We're going to add in uh, like a tap at the bottom. That's going to be how you get your water out. Now, how do you get water in? I don't know that. I don't really have an answer for that. Maybe you can reverse the pressure of the water tap or something. I don't know how stuff works. This is just, it's Minecraft. It's here to look cool, right? Okay, so let's do something like that. And then I think what we'll do is we're going to grab some stairs and make the start to make this look a little bit better okay because right now I'm, I'm at that point where I'm like uh oh this looks like poop okay but it's gonna look good it's gonna look good I hope let's just keep on going here we're gonna add stairs going all the way across here holding up these stone rings and that's just gonna bring in a little bit of color in fact actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do the exact we're gonna go all the way up to the top same exact thing I think that'll be a better look in general and then we're gonna back up and take a look at it and see how we feel there we go okay all right what do we think yeah, I only filled the water up uh, about two thirds of the way because I wanted there to be, see how there's some, some light in there? I think that's kind of cool. All right, next thing we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna put that right there and we're gonna grab some walls. Now, thanks to 115, we have some awesome stone walls. Oh, I'm so happy we have stone walls. You know what would be great? Smooth, smooth stone, like regular stone walls instead of just stone brick. That'd be really, really useful, like for stalactites and stuff like that. I gotta imagine that they didn't add those because stalactites are coming in the cave update that we're gonna probably maybe get soon. 
Okay, what do we think of that? It that looks it's starting to look good. It looks like uh, it looks like these stone bricks are really holding this terracotta from exploding from the pressure of the water, right? I think that's kind of cool. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to run these stone uh, stone brick walls the whole way up to the top on all four sides. That's going to make this just look a little bit more round, which I, I think is is what we're going for a round pipe here, right? Let's make it look round. It's starting to look good. It's starting to look good. Now, you know, I want to add in another thing, and I what I'm going to use is andesite. Now, this may not work as well in the in your world, to be totally honest, because we have in this texture pack, which is a little taste of Vastin texture pack, available on my Discord if you're interested, uh, we have this darker andesite, which uh, is a really, 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 really nice look. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to start down from, from, from this cross beam down one, and I'm going to take out the walls and put in the darkened andesite. We're going to put a ring. This is something we sort of do in, in Realm of Vast in my SMP uh, in Gravenwall in our steampunk city because these these supports really help to make it look like this pipe is 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 being truly supported. Like if you've ever looked at looked at plumbing in your house, you know the the pipes have they have they they're not completely straight. They have these little things where there are joints and things. So what this would look like is this look like this pipe ends kind of like halfway through and then the next pipe takes uh, over. So for this, I think we'll just go every three blocks uh, it, where we're just taking out the stone wall that way it connects. Uh, but we're leaving the stone brick as is. Okay, so like this and add in the wall. Oh, I think it looks good. I think it looks really good. Okay, so now a couple more things that we want to add. These these cross beams, they're really cool, but we need they need a little bit of help. So let's grab some spruce stairs and do this. We're gonna go across here, across here, oh, across here. Then we're gonna skip one and come down upside or regular stair, okay? And then we're gonna go cross beam right across, skip a block and cross beam going right there, and that's gonna allow you to put fencing right across there. I think that is gonna look like this whole thing actually has enough support. Because you know what? Honestly, it still looks really, really top heavy, which, yeah, that's kind of what I was going for, but it looks so top heavy that it could not conceivably hold this amount of weight. Again, I want to reiterate, if you've never picked up even a five gallon bucket of water, it's freaking heavy. Water's heavy. So, so you know, the, the these logs are going to have to really hold a lot of weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all four sides like this. Now, the thing I don't love about this, honestly, is it's, it's this is touching. It's okay. It, it doesn't really matter. You'll never even notice it in the big scheme of things. So, Let's do this last one right here. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to add in some light. I want this thing to be lit up at nighttime. Maybe not all the way up in the top, but at least right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right down here. We're going to go in like this, and we're going to go a little bit lantern crazy here. But I think from a distance, I think it's going to look really, really, really cool. So we'll go like this, and then we need to grab some lanterns like so, and we're just going to hang them right here uh, another trick of this is if you wanted to you could do lanterns uh random like maybe this one three maybe that one one maybe this one two i think for this one i'm going to go symmetrically all the way around but i have certainly used the random fence length lantern technique quite a bit and i've come to really really enjoy it so what we're gonna do is over here we're gonna do the exact same thing down here uh all the way around now, the last thing we gotta do is we gotta add a little bit of girth. So we're gonna come up here probably from the base. I don't know, use your judgment, but I, I think we'll probably have, skip one block and then we'll just do that. And again, with just spruce. Uh, so um, yeah, I think that's probably a good height. I, I just wanna add again, I wanna add enough support so it looks like this thing could conceivably be held up, right? Uh, I don't want the legs to look like they're gonna buckle, you know? So something like that should be good. And the last thing we got is we got to add some supports underneath here, just again, to round this out just slightly. Uh, and it's, it's just going to add a little bit of detail. Just, yeah, you know, look like, look like these are uh, supports. And there's actually one more thing I just thought of that we could add too. Oh, it's going to be good. All right, we're going to take some trap doors, some spruce trap doors, and we're going to go all the way up here and like that. And we're going to do the same thing right here, right in the, right in the middle, just like so, and that's going to give a nice banded look. I think that's going to be a really cool look. I think that's going to kind of complete the build, to be totally honest. So we'll do this on all, yeah, on all eight, eight sides. 
you know what's cool about this? I was just replacing the wool with grass. I, there's an underwater reservoir. It actually looks like that's where this is sucking it up from. It's sucking up from the water, the underwater reservoir. How cool is that? That works great. So like as if drainage comes off this mountain and goes right in here. And then what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna add a little bit of a mossy, uh, that's not how you spell mossy, a mossy area where we'll grab a couple of these, a uh, couple of the, uh, nope, a couple of these. And we're just gonna sprinkle them around here as if maybe uh, this area, cause there's gonna be a, a a road eventually we're gonna get to a road here so take some mossy cobble some maybe some regular cobble as well depends on how this looks but and we're just gonna go like this and then fake actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go it right there we're gonna go down oh that's what we're gonna, we're gonna go down one yep so we're gonna go down one like this like that and do, we'll do a couple slabs right there oh man this is gonna be good i can feel it i can feel it's gonna be good so what we'll do is we'll replace these replace all these with the regular brick if you have the overlays because you need it and we'll do that and that and that let's grab a couple of these stairs how about there and there okay so that way they're gonna come down here and we're gonna grab a trip 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 wire right here and that will be that's the tap that's the tap so if they want water they walk over here they psh, fill up their water so instead of a well this is a way more interesting well right here and you know what you could even do if you wanted to you could make it look as though uh this landscaping could leave a little bit to be desired to be honest but it's okay we're not here for landscaping let's just do I, okay i'm here for a little bit of landscaping uh a little bit okay there we go just just that much okay if you wanted to what you could do is you could grab some water and make this look a little bit more interesting so let's waterlog that stair and maybe let's do that how about a wall do we have a mossy wall in this game yeah we do i thought so okay <laughs> yeah because it's been there forever and let's waterlog that okay that's gonna look like maybe some water has spilled out of here i think that'll look really 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 cool and the last thing you gotta do is you gotta do some leaves here because leaves and vines you know leaves and vines are gonna make this whole entire thing look good so i want to stick with the exact same uh leaf palette as i have in the rest of this town i like to mix two you can pick any two that that you think works you know in your world uh, basically so let's do a couple of these guys just maybe like here and over there you know just make this look like it's like it's grown over a little a little wee bit uh, something like that mix them in however you want and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some vines maybe like here that would be nice maybe, i can't add it there unfortunately maybe up here like there maybe right there as well and once that gets overgrown i mean you can just you can help help it a little bit once that gets overgrown it's gonna look really really cool it's gonna look like oh cool this this place is really mossy and grown up but that's gonna do it for me i, I like some uh some leaves in the ground as well if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you want have any ideas for future tutorials uh let me know let me know i'd love to hear it but yeah medieval medieval water tower oh man look at the skyline in this little town I think it's really cool. Hopefully you do as well. We'll see you next episode from uh, the, uh, the creative uh, uh, tutorial world. Okay, bye everybody.